chapter 7 John 16 23 sometime after that I decided to take that lady's advice that I met in the restaurant and read the book of John as I was reading it it was like someone was speaking it to me or like a record was playing I got to the verse John 16 23 and it changed my life forever now remember Vanity the singer spoke about Jesus and because of who she was to me it gave me faith in his name so as I'm reading about Jesus I'm believing every word John 16 23 says in that day ask me nothing but truly I tell you my father will give you whatever you ask in my name I thought wow they always said if only you can have three wishes, what would you wish for? I thought, this is a world of wishes, but you can have more than three. I prayed to be able to sing, and sometime after that, my voice changed. Then, I prayed to be off drugs. Weeks had gone by, but I saw no changes. So I looked at my Jesus picture again, and I said, I thought you were a habit breaker. Then I prayed to start waking up early because I wanted to start praying in the morning. The next morning, it was like I had an out of body experience. I could see my room. It was dark. The curtains were closed. Then suddenly light hit the curtains and immediately I woke up. I looked at my clock and it said 7.47 a.m. So I got up. The next morning, I just rose up out of sleep and I looked at the clock again and it said 7.47 a.m. I thought, hmm, the third morning, I just woke up and I was afraid to look at the clock because I knew what time it was. It said 7.47. Something was happening. God was moving. Because of that scripture, John 16, 23, I started to pray for things in the name of Jesus. I remember praying for some shoes because when you're on drugs, you have nothing. I went to the store with my friend Ron and he had just got a new American Express card. I did not tell him my prayer, but he looked at me and he said, I'm going to buy you some shoes. I was like, holy cow. Then I decided to pray for some clothes. I went to my friend Joe's house and his roommate moved out and left all his clothes. And he said, you can have all these clothes. And they were my size. I'm watching the word work right in front of my face. My life is changing. I wanted a trench coat because Malcolm X had one. So one day I walk around the corner and there's a box laying in the middle of the street. I go over to it and there's a black trench coat inside. So all I need now is a briefcase like Malcolm. So I pray in the name of Jesus for a briefcase. My friend Jimbo gave me one. And do you know the combination for the briefcase was 747? Yikes! It's getting scary now. My friend Jimbo also gave me a Bible. So I decided to look on the 747 page to see what it said. Can you believe it was the same scripture when I asked God for advice? Ecclesiastes 12. It's getting real, real. This number began to show up all over the place. And it's even the last three digits of my social security number. Now winter is coming. And it's getting cold. So I decided to pray for a black jacket. It seemed like it took forever for that jacket to come. I would go in at night freezing. And I look up at the stars and say, Where is my black jacket? Then one day, I was riding my bike. And I didn't know where I was going. I'm turning left. I'm turning right. And then I ride my bike straight to this black jacket laying on the ground. 
can you believe it fit? I felt like Moses when it came off the mountain. It was really a powerful feeling. I got my black jacket in the name of Jesus. During this time, I started watching more and more preachers on TV. I would watch Dr. Fred Price on Sundays and he was talking about the same things I was experiencing in my life. He would give his testimony on his prayers being answered in the name of Jesus. Dr. Price was in Los Angeles and I also began watching Pastor Dick Burnell on Saturday mornings. Pastor Dick reminded me of Dr. Price. They had the same spirit walking in them. Only difference was Pastor Dick had white skin. The more Christian TV I was watching, the more power was coming into my life. The more I would see God move and answer my prayers, the more power I got. This was around 1994. In 1995, I stumbled across more TV ministers and began to watch Gloria Copeland on the Believer's Voice of Victory early in the morning. I began to watch the TV's preachers at 2.30 a.m. through 6.30 a.m. Sunday through Friday. This was my habit. And when they would speak, they would be talking to me. Something would happen in my life. I'd turn on the broadcast and they would be talking about it especially on the Copeland's broadcast because they had different ministers preaching on it. Gloria Copeland used to give an invitation to receive Jesus Christ as your savior, something no other ministers were doing. So in 1995, while watching her program, I said the sinner's prayer according to Romans 10, 9 and invited Jesus Christ to come live in my heart. That was the greatest miracle and it gave me power on the inside because now God lives in there. 